the paper bag princess. If we look at the cover of this, we get some clues as to who the characters might be in this story. We see a little girl here who's wearing a paper sack and a very unusual looking crown. And then we see this guy here who seems to be a dragon and he's got a bib on, which tells us that maybe he's come to eat a messy lunch or dinner. Could they be the characters in the story? Maybe. Also, the title of the story is The Paper Bag Princess, so maybe there'll be a princess in this story. And often when we have a princess, we have other characters. Maybe a prince? Maybe. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes, and she was going to marry a prince named Ronald. You can see the love hearts telling us that she is very much in love with Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burnt all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Oh my. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag, which is weird, isn't it? You'd think a paper bag would get burnt up. Anyways, so she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forest and horse's bones. The princess here looks furious. She's got her fists clenched and her teeth are clenched and she looks like she wants revenge. What does this tell us about the princess? Hmm. She doesn't give up easily, does she? She's not scared of this dragon either. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. Boom, boom, boom. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose cut. So now we have the dragon added to our story. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. Boom, boom, boom. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. I am, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon. And he took a huge, deep breath and he breathed out so much fire that he burnt up fifty forests, not just ten. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up one hundred forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath, but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Pfft. Elizabeth said, dragon, is it true that you could fly around the world in just ten seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped off and flew around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, fantastic, do it again. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk and he lay down and went straight to sleep. What is Elizabeth up to?
Why is she asking the dragon to do all these amazing feats? Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and she put her head right inside his ear and she shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Hmm, why do you think she has asked the dragon to do all these things? And there is Prince up in the castle. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened up the door to the cave. And there was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes and your hair is all tangled and you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. Oh. Be talking about characters and what we learn about characters, what does this tell us about Prince Ronald? Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a toad. They didn't get married after all. Now, what does that tell us about the princess? What does that tell us about Ronald? Well, actually, I keep calling Elizabeth a princess. She doesn't marry the prince, but she is already a princess. So if we look at that book, our story, our story has how many characters? Every single one of those characters makes our story go. If you take one of those characters away, our story stops. It stops being the story that we know to be the paper bag princess. So when we're thinking, I wonder if that person or if that thing is a character in our story, if we take it away, does the story still move? Now, another good thing, at the end of the story, we should be able to make, we should have ideas about these characters. We should have some ideas about Princess Elizabeth, about Prince Ronald, and we should have some ideas about the dragon. So after this lesson today, I'll ask you to do a little bit of thinking about the princess, and you can do some thinking about the dragon as well, and about Prince Ronald, and about the kind of characters they are what kinds of people, or in this case, what kind of dragon is the dragon. Um, so have a think about that, and I will see you next week, and we will look at some other familiar stories and see what kind of things we can learn about our characters. And we can also think about what happens when we take characters out of the story and how that story changes. Okay. Have a good afternoon, have a good week, and hopefully I see you soon.